What are some of your favorite examples of, you know, haunted hydrology? Oh, yeah. Man, I my top I have like a top five favorite kind of examples that kind of embody Spooky Lake Month for what it is. Um, obviously, like Lake Superior, which is here in North America, is a perfect example. There's, you know, over 300 shipwrecks. There's a huge, I think 10,000 people have had been estimated to have died in Lake Superior. And she doesn't, as Gordon Lightfoot like to tell us, she doesn't give up her dead because the bottom of Lake Superior is incredibly deep and cold freshwater. So things don't decompose the way that they would in the ocean. Instead, they kind of sit in stasis and there's a chemical reaction called saponification, which happens between the skin human skin and minerals in the freshwater. And it creates this substance called adipose air, which essentially coats the whole human body and kind of encases it in soap. Mm -hmm. And bodies can be hundreds of years old. There's like a body that they discovered in Switzerland with adipose air that was like 450 years old, still intact. Like still all the flesh was kind of still attached to these, you know, bones. The bones are more likely to disappear before the flesh because of this condition. And so Lake Superior has some pretty famous shipwrecks and probably quite a few bodies that have experienced adipose air, but there's one in particular that's pretty famous. It's the Kamloops shipwreck. And there's a resident in the boiler room, a crew member who's still there today, and he floats around in the boiler room. It's been a hundred, almost a hundred years, I think, since that shipwreck occurred. And, you know, he still hangs out tonight or today. Uh, so. That's kind of one of my favorite examples because it kind of embodies that human element and the lake just doing weird things all by herself. 